today I'm going to talk about how those of us who are born again now are both spiritually and physically ready for the rapture. Hi, I'm Mike Trotis, Bible teacher and preacher, and you've tuned into my YouTube channel, Solving the Prophetic Puzzle. Do you know that you, are, if you are born again, you are ready for the rapture both spiritually and physically? I believe that when the rapture occurs, our bodies are changed. The rapture doesn't simply just take our spirit and leave our body here on the earth. We go spirit, soul, and body at the rapture. Nothing is left here. We are changed and we go up at the rapture. But let's look at what the Bible has to say about the subject. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, Paul is talking to, to the church and he's explaining the rapture. And Paul says, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Paul is giving us the sequence of how the rapture is going to occur. The Lord Jesus Christ at the appointed time will leave heaven. He will come to the earth. He will be in the atmosphere in the clouds above the earth. The trumpet will sound. The archangel will shout. The, the trump of God will sound and the dead in Christ rise first. Now, what does that mean? The dead in Christ, of course, when someone dies, they immediately go to be with the, with the Lord. Their spirit goes there. Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But what is left here on the earth is the body. In some state of decay or some state of being, the body is left here. The spirit goes to be with the Lord at the rapture. The Lord Jesus comes back in the clouds above the earth. And those dear departed saints of God who have died died long ago or, or just a short time ago. Those who have died come back with the Lord to receive their resurrected body. That's what Paul meant when the dead in Christ rise first. Their bodies are changed. They're reformatted. They come back together and they come back into a resurrected state. Then they are raptured out of here. Their bodies, then are, the spirit in the body meets in the air in the atmosphere above the earth. And then we who are alive and remain at the time of the rapture, are changed, Paul says. We are changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, and this body goes from a, a corruptible body to an incorruptible body, and we are raptured. That's what happens at the rapture. The dead in Christ go first, then we who are alive on this earth go up next. We go spirit, soul, and body. We are there with the Lord. We are like the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ has a resurrected body. We too will have a resurrected body. We need that because at the end of the tribulation period, we go into the millennial reign of Christ and we will rule and reign with Christ. So we will need a resurrected body to operate here on this earth. But have you ever considered how this is going to happen? How, how is our bodies going to change? It's all in the Bible. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 tells us. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body through his spirit who dwells in you. It's already inside of us. The same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwells inside of us. The same spirit that raised Christ, the Holy Spirit that raised Christ as he laid in the tomb for three days that resurrected that body, that same spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ is inside of us. Let's look at another verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 says, And God both raised up the Lord and will raise us up by his power. We have the resurrected power inside of us right now. When did that happen? The day we were born again. The day we were born again, we received, we became new creations in Christ Jesus and we received resurrected power inside of us. 2 Corinthians 4.14. The Bible says, let everything be established by two or three witnesses. So the third verse I'm going to share with you. 2 Corinthians 4.14. Know this. He who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. One day, 
We are going to be resurrected just like Jesus was. Just like Jesus was 2,000 years ago. Jesus came to this earth and he was in the form of a human body. And that body, that body was resurrected. And we too will be resurrected. And the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwells inside of us. How did it get there? It happened the day we were born again. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That expression, all things have become new, as, means as if it never existed before. We become a new creation. We become a born-again spiritual being living in a mortal body that one day will be resurrected. Look at 1 Corinthians, last verse for today. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Paul is speaking here and he says, Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. We shall be changed. The same sequence. It's going to be the same sequence. Well, no matter where we read it in the word. The dead in Christ rise first. The dead in Christ are resurrected. Then we are changed. What is changed? Our bodies. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when the corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. At the rapture, we experience the greatest victory. After ourselves being born again, we are now ready for the rapture. We are ready. Our spirit man has been born again and inside of us lays a dormant but powerful resurrected power that is waiting for the catalyst to happen at the rapture event once the lord jesus comes back once he he sh once there's a great shout once there's the sound of the trumpet once all that power is released that resurrected power that lays dormant in us will be activated and we will be changed the dead will be changed first, then we which re are alive and remain will be changed in a moment. This corruptible body will put on incorruption. We will be changed and we will be raptured out of here. We will escape the wrath of God that's coming upon this earth through the rapture. My point is this. If you are born again right now, you are ready for the rapture. Your spirit is ready. Your body will be changed at the moment of the rapture, and we go out of here. Where do we go? We will always be with the Lord forever. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. The rapture is the greatest thing that co brings comfort to so many people. I know. I've, I've listened and read some of your uh your comments you are waiting for the rapture you are so ready for the rapture it's going to happen very soon rest assured soon and very soon we are going to see the king hey thanks for watching these videos if you haven't liked or subscribed yet please do if you need prayer or would like for me to pray with you leave it in the comment section below if you haven't got a hold of my book waiting for the rapture waiting for the rapture is the first in a trilogy about the rapture if you haven't got a hold of that book you can find that on amazon waiting for the rapture by michael drotus so until next time keep looking up jesus christ is coming soon god bless you thank you